This is a follow-up video for the first Rico GR disassembly video I did and this is about uh, how to get inside the lens module uh, we need to um, access it in the first video I pulled out the lens module from behind um, from the back and I lost a tiny a spring fell out and it was forced uh, clearly it was uh, not the way to do it and I got a comment from Walter HF um, in this video of how to do it right and it would be to access the um, uh, lens, uh, lens from the face uh, face plate so we need to uh, remove the, this face plate first and Walter writes how to do it I need to turn the front lens face clockwise a few millimeters and then unscrew the three screws that hold the front element of the lens. So this would be the way to do it. A firmly push here and clockwise uh, you would like apply pressure and turn it the face plate until it's uh, loose. I will, I will I did it already and uh, actually I did not follow his advice but I pulled uh, I pushed in here my fingernail in between and I just popped it off and it uh, actually broke some of the plastic inside so but the right way would be to apply pressure and would we'll do this so after this is loose you can just re Remove the face plate. This is how it looks, and uh, the face plate incorporates the, this uh, closing me mechanism, which is also spring loaded here, and it's coupled with the outer uh, barrel here mechanically. So the next would be to unscrew these three screws here so let's do that now it's loose and now we can actually pull out this back stuff yes and what we mm. we see that the front stuff also uh, loose goes out and we hold in our hand the uh, already open lens so be very careful here is the shutter leaves and stuff like that uh, the bare lens and um, from now we could go on uh, to replace the cable but for now let's look at what we got what else we have here this is the front uh, lens element and around uh, the lens element there's um, this uh, plastic barrier here and you can see it's like uh, something loose sitting on top and um, just make sure that it's correctly whoop, sitting on top when you put everything together back again you can orientate yourself like so this, this two hooks are on each other. Okay, and this is the inner ring. And the inner ring has um, a, a ring of its own inside. Here it moves. And this ring uh, makes is coupled with, with um, the pins here. And when it rotates, uh, it closes uh, and opens the door here and the before mentioned little spring uh, is actually from from inside of here and maybe I can show it to you where so here's a little hook on the uh, inner ring 
and somewhere here there would be another hook but I somehow lost this hook there would be one and the spring would be connecting the, this, this hooks here so that there is some kind of tension and uh, it springs back um, unfortunately I cannot attach it so what else can we see maybe interesting to learn how this functions here you see a little groove uh, like a little groove here and uh, so, um, uh, this connects this groove connects to this uh, knobs so these knobs go inside the groove and when the camera is powered on uh, the lens extends like that and because we this knob goes through this groove um, it mechanically turns this so and uh, by turning this uh, the doors are opened so this is how it works mechanically mm. now let's put everything back together in uh, the same order first of all we would put the lens inside the barrel and let's see the motor you see this is a bigger part and you look here i think this is the right way right. no yeah so the motor is here and this is the biggest cutout we put this inside here okay now this has to be clean no stuff inside now we put back on the land the front element and we can orientate ourselves with this knob there's a silver knob here and this this hole and the motor has this uh, gap uh, here so we just put this on top of that this is right and now the screws okay last this part mm, and uh, also the silver knob here go has a gap for that and also this one so it looks good and now we would apply some pressure and turn it left and um, there would be some problem we see here with the silver shining through um, this are the, the, the knobs from the closing and in order to get uh, it right um, we can hold it here and then um, pull out simulate that the camera is powering on so hold down this and pull out this uh, spring loaded plastic here and then close it and try it some time and it will simulate opening and closing of the mm, of the doors and it's so easy for me to do so and this will force the silver stuff to move the knobs come on <laughs> you see it's really not that easy 
but just to try and try. Come on. And also you can like push and twist a little bit. And this will make this movement from the other side. And yeah, you will hear some click and eventually Eventually it will close. Ah, no. So we triggered the mm, the closing of the front protection here um, by pulling it out, out and in. And now it's uh, back together again. In case, just in case that uh, you know, if you forcefully remove the faceplate, um, there's a high chance that this is loose. And I know that this part is loose because I, as I told you, I lost some plastic. So I'm just putting some isolation tape on the corner so that I know it's not going to move. Um, this would be one advice for that. If you do it uh, without uh, forcing it out, it should be connected uh, solidly, solid against. 